the second leg in our Champions League quarterfinal with Lazio, where we only lead narrowly by two goals to one. And then a league-deciding game, of course, with Liverpool. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of this FM23 series with Everton as we come to an e towards the end, at least, in the second season. With our Champions League quarterfinal second leg at Goodison Park against Maurizio Sarri's Lazio to kick us off. And then in the league against Liverpool, who are currently, with six games to play, nine points behind us. So if we win, we 12 points clear with 15 to play for. And that does sound like a Premier League title to me. If we lose, then it's six points with 15 to play for, which does sound like squeaky bum time to me. And I don't like that option. So let, it'd, it'd be a nice time to finally beat Liverpool, wouldn't it? Um, elsewhere in the Champions League, Barcelona are playing City last night. Um, Bayern Munich came narrowly close. 5-1 down from the first leg. 3-0 up. Couldn't find that ball. For Liverpool advanced and Real Madrid beat United. So if we beat Lazio, we, we will face... Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. That sounds like a proper Champions League diet to me. Uh, but we're kicking off against Lazio. Team-wise, of course, this is how we're lining up with the five at the back. Pickford in goal, Patterson, Holgate, Lacroix, Van Ven, Robinson, Onana in the hole, Caicedo, McAllister ahead, Cavalu and Orsic up front. It's the sta standard team when we play like this. And hopefully, yeah, control the game. Hopefully grab another... Uh, don't concede, and let's get that match at the Bernabeu in the semi-final, shall we? Let's just jump right into it. There's a free kick in the second minute to Lazio, which isn't a great start. Louis Alberto stands over it, and Louis Alberto's having a go. He has an Albert go. Pickford with a good save. McAllister clears only as far as Alberto again, though, to Toby, to Toloi, my mistake. Uh, McAllister blocks it again. Very nice defensively from McAllister, which isn't the area of the pitch you'd usually see him in, but solid from him there nonetheless. And then Lou Alberto, once again, over the corner, into the box, headed clear by Mason Holgate, go on DCL, DCL headers even further clear. Orsic goes back to Van de Ven, Robinson, Onana, Van de Ven, just passing the ball around, looking for that space, Caicedo, tackled by Orsic, McAllister, over the top, Robinson runs through, with men in the box, Orsic is there, Robinson hunted down by two of them. Goes back to Van de Ven. Caicedo trying to find the cross. We find a McAllister. Calvalo and it's in. I'm not even fully sure what just happened there. I think McAllister crossed it. And Calvalo with a beautiful little header off the bar into the net. They're appealing, I assume, for offside. Whatever the case, I'd like to see a replay of whatever that <laughs> just was. It's given... Seven minutes, Everton lead here at Goodison Park. Down with it, Carvalho. And Robinson to Van de Ven. Played it to Caicedo. Played it to McAllister. McAllister, one touch. Little cross in to Carvalho and a little dink. Carvalho with a beautiful little glancing header. Sends it on its way. Bounces off the bar. Across the goal line. Goal, he tried his best. He couldn't get there. He's offside there, but he's not offside. <laughs> no point in showing me that one. I'm sorry, better not complain about that, because he was not offside when McAllister crossed. Or at least they didn't show it, and so if he was, we will ignore it. <laughs> Hi, Saj, with the throw to Immobile. Got some space here, Immobile. Plays it forward to Pedro. Pedro. Dipping it back to SMS. Okay, Soto misses out on the tackle. Oh, going around Alberto. Has a go from distance. Pickford! Oh, my God. God, what has Pickford just done? Louis Alberto, involved in everything for Lazio right now, is in the ninth minute. He pulls it level on the night. Thanks to whatever Jordan Pickford's just done. That was disastrous from him. He saved it, but he pushed it across his body and it bounces off the post in today. He's not quick enough. He's not strong enough with his hand. And Lazio, just like that, a level. Corner. 12th minute. What an action-packed start this is. And it's going to be Alexi, Alexi McAllister standing over the corner. Looking for men in the box. Who can he find? Headed clear. Van der Ven's there, though. Plays it to Caicedo. Moisey Caicedo curls it from the edge of the area. Inches wide the post. But well played. This really is just a quick, quick start here from both teams. 
Because oh, as the quick start continues, only 15 minutes in, another highlight. I think this is the fifth to Loy. Malasic. Lazio are being patient. They're not rushing. They know they've got time, especially with how action packed this is. To Loy, to Alberto. Chips it forward to Immobile. Headed away by Lacroido. Nice. McAllister back to Van de Ven. We've got some time. Mickey Van de Ven. Goes to Caicedo. Oh, not the best. But Orsic wins it back really well. Good play from Orsic. Lacroix. McAllister's got some space. There's a space wide. He's found it for Patterson. Nathan Patterson. Through ball to Calvalu and he's in behind. What a ball. What a run. What a save. That was really well played. Patterson with a beautiful pass. Calvalu with an amazing run as always. Forced a great, great save by Providell. He did amazingly there. To stop Calvert Lewin, because that's you know pretty much most other games this season. That's in the back of the net. Orsic cleared by Toloi. Mickey Van der Ven's there though. To Casado. Casado's okay, gonna have a go. <laughs> Hits the bar. Headed clip or Calvert Lewin can get there. Nathan Patterson tries to get to loose ball. He does get to it. Patterson has a go. Oh my god, it's so well saved by Providell. <laughs> We're keeping the pressure. Anthony Robinson now looking for a cross. Can he find it? He's shoved over. That's a yellow card from Pedro, surely. It's not even a tackle. He literally just shoves him in the back. But no, it's going to just be a free kick for Mislav Orsic here. Yeah, Mislav Orsic stands over the ball, plays it in. Headed clear by Toloi. Oh, we're keeping the pressure on Lazio here, which is good. If the pressure's on them, it's not on us, obviously. And thankfully, things quieted and down as we got to the end of that second half. And it has ended one all here, 45 minutes away. From the Champions League semi-finals. Done beautifully so far, lads. Just got to keep it up. Anthony Robinson's not having the best game of his career. By faith that he can improve. We'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Just got to hold on. We just got to hold on. Keep the pressure we've had on them as well. It'll be good. It's good. And they're playing more attacking. We're playing more cautious. They've got to come at us now with the time left. They need a goal. So, yeah, they've got to go attacking. They've got to come at us. And hopefully that will give us chances and give us space to exploit uh, on the counter, on the opposite end, to get to them. Just past the hour mark here. Couple changes, a bit of fresh legs on both ends of the pitch. Anthony Robinson is going to make way now for Mikelenko. And uh, Mislav Orsic is also going to make way. And uh, we're going to get used to the Makoko on. Mikelenko, bombing forward, looking for a man. He goes for Kavalu and is headed. Oh, Kaisel did very well there. Gets it back to Providell. And Lazio passing around about the make mistake. McAllister intercepts Makoko. Wide of the post. But McAllister, even this late in the game, so quick to get to it. 67th minute, more tired legs. Cover Lewin going to make way now. Uh, and we're going to get that trope for Fana on up front. Caicedo tired. Abdullah Ducore. Free kick. Oh, God. SMS. Has a go from distance. Pickford makes the mistake. And it's in. It's an own goal. From Alexi McAllister. And it's heartbreaking. Because I was just about to sub him for Christ's sake. Calvert Loftus-Cheek on the pitch. Oh no. 76th minute. It's heartbreak. As McAllister. Pickford once again. Very poor from him. Unable to hold on to a pretty simple shot. In my opinion from SMS here. Palms it out. McAllister. It's not even McAllister's fault. LaCroix clears it right into McAllister. And we're going to, we have to push forward now with 15 minutes left to play. We have to go for it a little bit because it's level on aggregate. All right. Changing tactically a bit as well. Moving Onana forward from the hole. Moving Loftus-Cheek forward just behind the strikers. Yeah. We've got to push a little bit more forward now. We've got to go a bit more forward. Only 10 minutes left to play and we need to find a goal here at Goodison Park. And it's full time. Extra time it will be. Oh, the heartbreak of it all. Come on, lads. We need more. We need better. Oh, I'm looking to the subs. Onana's going to have to make way. Adrissa Garner Gay onto the pitch. And, oh, God. We just got to go for it now. We just got to go for it. Yusuf Makoko, free kick into the box. Headed clear, but Loftus Cheeks going to get onto loose ball. Go wide. He doesn't. He just gives it away. Win it. Win it. Win it from Origi, for the love of Christ. Why is it Divock Origi? Makoko does well to get back and intercept. And then just a save pass back to Pickford. Come on, Pickford. Pickford's had a really poor game today, sadly. LaCroix. Holgate. Adrissa Garnagay. It's a Holgate. Nathan Patterson. Patterson. Dilly-dallying. Goes to Holgate. 
LaCroix. So just the Garner Gay. Ducore. Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek again, poor. What is he doing? What is Loftus Cheek doing here? SMS. Through ball to Immobile. Pickford actually has just to hold on to that one. What is Loftus Cheek doing? He's just constantly giving the ball away, mate. Have I got to tell him to stay further forward? Advanced playmaker attack. Stay forward, <laughs> and Ruben. What are you doing back here? Just giving the ball away. Goal kick. Providel. Palacio. Tagila. Marcus A. Toloi. Providel. Goes forward with it. Come on, LaCroix does get there. Ducore. To a Drisagana guy. Holgate. Latra Favana. Through ball to Patterson. He's so tired, but he's got the legs to get there. To find the cross here, perhaps. Nathan Patterson. Goes back to Holgate. Smart. Mason Holgate gives the ball away. Cross the damn ball. What is this at the minute? Why are we just standing there? I know you guys are tired, but for the love of Christ, just kick the football away. And just like that, we're letting them attack again. Mikalenko intercepts, but just gives it away. The boys have just given up here, apparently. And they, they've given up as well as they pass the ball to Datro Fafana. <laughs> Datro Fafana passed his man with ease. Into crossing range, he needs it. Passes back to Adrissa Garner. Gay! Smashes it over the bar. We need to be doing better here, lads. Toloi. To Kwame. Over the top to Immobile. Someone get there. We get there, but we just give it right back to him. <laughs> Ducore. Come on, Ducore. Van de Ven. LaCroix. Maxence LaCroix. Goes forward. The Fafana. In behind. That Datro Fafana. His name in lights as he tucks it home. Datro Fafana. We're going to go very defensive from here on out. Datro Fafana saw his name in lights. Maxence LaCroix with a beautiful assist. Yes. Datro Fafana with a great run in behind. And then just pass the keeper and tucks it home. And just like that, Everton pull level on the night and pull a head on aggregate. That throw, Fofana, the man from the Ivory Coast. As Jesus Christ, oh my God. <laughs> I don't have the words. I don't have the words. Nathan Patterson. The throw to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek goes back to Drisaganagay. Crosses into the box. Headed clear, only as far as Mikalenko. Ducore. How do I do? Corre! 1-1-5 one, one, minutes on the clock from 25 yards out. Abdullah de Clore, my player of the season last season. Injury troubles and new signings have kept him out of the squad for a lot of it. But he still profoundly can find moments of beauty like that. They try to clear it, but we have we, we have everything. They have too many players in the box. Michelangelo de Clore steadies himself, smashes it from the edge, flies into the top corner. And just like that, I think we can chill out a little bit. Famous last words. 3-2 at Goodison Park, 5-3 on aggregate. Bernabeu, here we come. LaCroix, free kick. Forward. Yep, right to the goalie. Providell has... He's conceded free here, but I thought he's had a decent little game. <laughs> Rolls it to Toloi. Toloi to Gila. Gila to Marcus. Gila. Vecino. Passing it around. That's the only need two goals, and they need them quickly. But Datro Fafana is going to set from from uh, Origi. And Datro to Decore, to Datro. Datro Fafana is just going to run with it. He's not, I'm not pausing on anyone. Makoko, Decore, through ball. Datro Fafana in behind. Datro Fafana. Well saved by Providel. Fafana, well saved by Providel. Oh, but it is a goal kick. And into nearly, we're into added time at the end of extra time. I don't even. I don't think anyone could find a time for two goals right here, right now, that Lazio need. But they're looking for one. They're looking for a draw on the night. Immobile is in behind, in the area offside. We're going to take our time with this. There is not long at all. I uh, just just about twenty seconds remain. Twenty seconds separating Everton Football Club and a Champions League semi-final tie with Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. The Knights in the Champions League you dream of await as we simply pass the ball back to Jordan Pickford and he stands on it. Short to LaCroix, back to Pickford and full-time whistle is blown at Goodison Park. 
Everton three, Lazio two. There we go. My word. LaCroix, solid defensively, a beautiful assist. Thatcher Fofana came on the pitch and he did quite wonderful. He was buzzing around, getting in behind. Very happy. Cavalier and Fofana, Ducroy with the goals. McAllister, LaCroix, Michelenko, the assists. And Everton Football Club are into the Champions League semi finals. My word. My absolute word. Very happy. Where are you, LaCroix? LaCroix, man of match. Really good job. Oh, my God. As Everton, yes, are into the semi-finals, into the final four, it will be Everton versus Real Madrid, both legs of which we'll be back for, and it will be Barcelona versus Liverpool. So it will either be the big, you could have the big Spanish derby of sort, you know, the big Spanish tie between Real Madrid and Barcelona. You could have the big Merseyside derby between Everton and Liverpool. You could have Liverpool and Real Madrid, two of the most successful sides in, Real in the Champions League. <laughs> you could have Everton-Barcelona, for Christ's sake, and the beauty of that. Oh my God, Spain and England dominate. Who will get to the final? Lacroix, beautiful. And we're in. Oh my word. Oh my word. And the episode's not even over yet. Because speaking of maybe playing Liverpool in the Champions League final... We've still got to play them in the league at Goodison Park. It's still raining. I've never beaten them. But if we win, then the Premier League ties all but guaranteed. So, it'd be a nice time to finally do that, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, further ado, let's just jump to the game. And Liverpool-wise, unchanged 11 again. Um, well, it will be once I make the change that I made last game. <laughs> With LaCroix at the man of match. Of course, he stays in the team. Uh, yeah. It'll be nice to finally beat Liverpool, just in general, but also to all but guarantee the league title. Let's just jump right into the game. Harvey Elliott crosses into the box, headed onto the post, chips back in, Robinson volleys clear, nice. Nice, Orsic onto loose ball, just heads it away. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Free kick, Harvey Elliott again, stands over the ball. Gonna chip it forward, get there, LaCroix heads it clear, and as far as... Pedro Goncalves, he's allowed into the box. Pickford pushes it over the bar. Pickford really can't hold on to things, can he? <laughs> he is just a parrying Peter over there. A parrying Pickford, I suppose. <laughs> As Harvey Elliott standing over the corner now. Getting a chance to kick the ball a lot from set piece. It's a big half. Headed clear uh, for a throw on, thankfully. And it does remain goalless here at half time at Goodison Park. Oh, God. <laughs> Liverpool. Had all the better of the chances. The lads just got to do better. Just got to do better. Um, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now, but we might make some early changes in that second half. Try and yeah, adjust things up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Ten minutes into the second half. Making some offensive changes. Cavalu and, and Orsic just not having a, the game here. Bring on Fafana and Makoko. Fafana especially. Both men very pacey. Um, Fafana did a really nice job against Lazio. If you could do the same here... That'd be that'd be that'd just well, that'd be beautiful. Just past the hour mark, Patterson, tired. Um, gonna make way for Nikolenko on the wrong side of the pitch. I need a backup right wing back, honestly. Uh, and just gonna get coming on for Onana. And Caicedo tired. Let's get Ducore on. That's all our subs. Twenty minutes to go. Pretty even game. Nothing's happened in the second half. Cow oh, God. Oh, please, nothing happen. Or something good for us. That's 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 the alternative. Into added time. Looking like this one's just gonna... Just kind of, yeah. Zero highlights in the second half, I don't think. <laughs> so just gonna, you know, falter to a halt. That is definitely not the word I wanted, but who cares? It's a draw. Uh, we didn't lose. I've lost every other game to Liverpool, and we didn't lose here. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fault you too much, lads. <laughs> I can't, you know. Very good defensively. Our centre backs and our goalie, all on nice little ratings. Um, you can all have a nice little special shout out. I thought you all did very well. You didn't concede a goal. Uh, so there's always that. And nine points clear, with 15 points to play for, is a very nice position to be in. <laughs> you know, um, Man City have, have had a banger with West Ham. What, what, what happened here? One nil City, one one, two nil, two three one City. And then West Ham, before half-time, make it 3-2, 4-2, 4-3, 5-3, 5-4. Mansa, you have a banger uh, to get ready to play United or Tottenham in the FA Cup final. Um, and we 
We do good. We do good. Um, uh, Brighton are looking at Mislav Orsic. That's funny. <laughs> Brighton have smashed the championship. I don't think nearly Premier League winning winger Orsic would want to go to you. But who cares? Nine points clear. 15 to play for. We will be back um, for Real Madrid. You know, we might win the league in, in, against Leeds or something. So we'll be back at this point. We'll definitely be back for Real Madrid. I get to take a little break and do Leicester off camera. But Real Madrid, here we come. But, you know, I mean, yeah, we didn't lose to Liverpool. And we're into the Champions League semi-final. What more can you ask for? <laughs> and that is going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed into the Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid. And Real Madrid at the Bernabeu, that's what Champions League nights are made of, isn't it? So that's beautiful to get out of the way as well in our little Champions League run. Fingers crossed. And we could even have Liverpool in the final, which, Jesus Christ, what an episode that will be. And nine points clear in the league with 15 to play for. We're going to win the Prem, aren't we? I don't, I'm getting far ahead of myself, but I really want to win it. I really do. And if you want to see us win the Prem and maybe even win the Champions League somehow, then why don't you subscribe to not miss a single thing and leave a like if you have enjoyed, because I hope you have. Uh, we won against Lazio and we got in the semi-final and we didn't lose to Liverpool, so yes, I think this episode deserves a like, don't you? And subscribe to not miss a thing once again, and as always, I shall say a very special thank you for watching.